Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today I want to talk about the Panzer IV Alf G the German tier 5 medium tank and you know <laughs> please buff me wargaming I beg you I mean this is a tank that is crying out to be buffed why? well a couple of things this was the only German tank that was in production for the whole duration of the war. That's right, I mean, it started at the beginning and it was still being produced at the end. And it went through various variations. Not only that, this tank saw action on every single front. And it was involved in all the major battles. The Battle of Normandy, this is it in, this is it in Italy. Um, it was at Kursk. It was in every single tank battle that you can possibly think of. And Wargaming, I don't think, have done this tank any justice whatsoever. Not because what they've done is inaccurate. Therein lies the problem. Well, it's slightly inaccurate. The parameters of the tank itself, i.e. the gun and the armour on both the hull and the turret is pretty accurate funnily enough i mean in real life it didn't have great armor i mean it was no more than 80 millimeters on the front and 50 millimeters on the on the turret um, if you had a bit of the uh, spaced armor which is the shirts and which are those things that go around the side of the turret and along the tracks which you only get on the mouth h then that only adds another five millimeters of protection but it gives spaced armor the thing that lets this tank down is the tanks around it have been given things that they didn't have in real life. So, the Panzer IV Alf G, this is it there, this is what it looks like in the game. It's a beautiful looking tank, it's, it's a proper remodel of the real thing. Um, it is pretty accurate. I mean, everything that Wargaming have done, I mean, it's a great model, that is. It's, it's a great render of the real tank. And you'll see next, the armor is, okay, it's slightly better than the real thing. But the armor profile, it's not the best tank. It hasn't got the best armor. I mean, it's a tier 5. Um, but it's, it's got pretty accurate armor. So I can't fault Wargaming for that. What I can fault Wargaming for, however, is the tanks that it faces so this is what it looks like when it's facing a t-34 now it would have faced a t-34 in real life uh, and this is the t-3476 not the 85 model and as you can see here i mean the t-34 is not really going to struggle to pen it the, the panzer 4 alf g is not a bad side scraper you can see that but apart from that it's pretty pretty open when you look at the T-34, however, it's not too bad. I mean, you know, the Panzer IV is going to pen the front dead on of the T-34. And the T-3476 is also a good skydriver. So, again, I can't really knock them for that. Then we come to this beast, the KV-1. Now, yes, sometimes the Panzer IV did struggle to pen a KV-1. But when I then switch it over, so you can see the Panzer IV being smacked by a kv1 it's well there you go i mean i mean the, the kv1 is just gonna pummel it i mean everything is wide open in real terms and this is where the problem is because in real life the kv1 didn't have the gun that it does have in the game more about that later so let's have a look at it damage pretty low rate of fire pretty low penetration not great armor not great now, when you get into the detail, you can see here that the armour has been buffed from the real thing. But that's not the bit I want to concentrate on. What I want to look at is this part, the penetration. Now, on your AP, you're looking at 115. On your APCR, 166. Now, that is pretty true to what it was like in real life. Damage-wise, you're knocking out 160, and with the APCR, 135. Now, it's got decent speed and it's got decent maneuverability. So, why do I say it needs a buff? Well, I say it needs a buff because it's completely and utterly underpowered. Why do I say that? Well, for many, many reasons. I mean, first off, for its class, uh, against all the other mediums, this has got the second worst HP. I mean, it really is that bad. It's got the second worst DPM. Uh, or, sorry, the third worst DPM. It's got average penetration. I mean, there are eight tanks better than it. It's got the second best damage, don't get me wrong, 
Um, and, you know, and it's got average velocity, but it's got, you know, one of the worst penetration losses over distance. It's got the fifth best caliber, yet one of the worst rates of fire and one of the worst reload times. It's got mediocre aim time. And, you know, there's just a lot about this tank that just isn't right. Now, I, you know, the thing that disappoints me is that this was the mainstay of the German army throughout the war. Like I said, I mean, it saw action everywhere. It was the tank that was produced the most by the Germans, and it had production all the way until the end of the war. So it's disappointing that this tank is so mediocre. And, you know, when you come to Blitz, it really is a pale comparison not because they've got it wrong because they haven't got the tank wrong but what they have done is the tanks around it have been slightly power creeped and i'll give you an example so let's take uh, the american medium the m4 well what they've done they've given it the m4 the m1a1 gun now in blitz that gun has 128 millimeters of pen in real life it had 93 millimeters of pen. I mean, that's that's a huge difference. I mean, that's a, that's a big increase. Now, that was on its standard AP rounds. Now, you stick it in the APCR. In real life, it had 157 pen. In Blitz, it got 177 pen. So, you know, this is outclassing this tank. I mean, it's that bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Not only that, let's take the KV-1. The KV-1 sports an 85mm gun. It never had an 85mm gun in real life. It just didn't exist. I mean, th there was an 85mm this gun, which was an anti-aircraft gun. It was never mounted to a KV-1. Well, it was, and that became the KV-1B, which in Blitz is actually the KV-220T. Now, I know Blitz is not a realistic game sim. It's not a tank sim. It's not meant to be a tank sim. But this is an iconic tank. I mean, this is not some, you know, off-the-cuff fantasy tank. This is a real tank. But talking about fantasy tanks, there is another Panzer IV in Tier V, and it's the Panzer IV Anko, the Japanese premium tank. Now, this has more hit points than the Panzer IV G. It has better DPM. It has the same penetration, the same damage. It has, you know... It's got the same gun, but it's got a slightly better rate of fire. And it, it's it's got a slightly better reload time. I mean, what on earth is going on? So a fantasy tank, which is basically a, a Panzer IV Alf H, is better than the real thing. I mean, come on, guys. It's about time you looked at this iconic... German real tank and you need to bring it back up to par it needs to be buffed we're not talking about a massive buff here you know make it better than the Anko please I mean what on earth is going on allow it to compete with KV-1s etc I mean because that's what it competed with in real life and if you're gonna give the KV-1 a gun that never existed because it, d it didn't fit into the KV-1 uh, turret, by the way. Then give this a gun that never existed. Give it the 88mm. Why not? You, you did it for the Panther. So do it for this. Give it a gun that didn't exist. Turn this. Give it a tier 6 gun. Because this has only got a tier 5 gun. And virtually all the other mediums in the tier come with tier 6 guns. This thing is totally, totally underpowered. It's underpowered... And it's it's a shame because this is a fantastic tank. It's just so damn difficult to play. And it's really, really tricky. And it's only a tier five. And, you know, you can't, even if you hold down in it, you're going to get penned. It's okay, it's side scraping, but you're going to get penned. Everybody can pen you. There are occasions when you will get bounces, um, as you will see later on in some other games. But... In general, I mean, this is such a difficult tank to play. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this tank. I've never, ever aced it. 
not through lack of trying. And you know, I'm showing you some some games, and most of them are losses, funny enough. But they're reasonable games in in, in trying to play the tank to its strengths. It, it doesn't have many, unfortunately, and therein lies the problem. It's a very exposed and vulnerable tank, and it's a crying shame because this, as I said, was the mainstream of the German army in World War II, and it was a fantastic tank. And in Blitz, it's hated by, by most people because it's so damn hard to do anything with it. It, it, it's just one of those things. Now, I'm not saying that every single tank in Blitz should be easy to play or shouldn't have vulnerabilities or weaknesses. I'm not saying that. But this is a mainstream tech tree tank. And it's just underpowered. <laughs> it's, it's, it's as simple as that. You know, it's great that it's accurate, but the tanks around it aren't. And that's where the issue lies. Because you're either going to be accurate to real life, or you're not. And this is accurate, but the tanks around it are not. So come on, Wargaming, give this little Panzer IV a chance. By the way, I mean, I, I showed you this game because trying to go one-on-one -on -one against the Honor, and when you've only got like eight hit points left in the Panzer IV, and he's in a KV-1, it's not easy. But, you know, it was a relatively good game, and you can see there that the tank will dish out nice amount of damage so the thing about this tank is you've got to play it smartly and that's where it becomes tricky because you can't just oh, this this was a game I played earlier and you know we said go to the a cap and they all bug it off to the other cap which you know beggars belief I mean what's the point I mean you're meant to be a team um, clearly you don't want to be a team so they're now capping the A I'm getting shot and I thought, oh, well, there's just no point anymore. Might as well just continue along with A. And and then all of a sudden I get a, a, a Wolverine who... Oh, I don't know what the Wolverine does. He goes AFK in a minute anyway. And a, a, a Bromwell who actually has a good game. But, uh, you know, it was a team of fools. We did I, we did say before, kick off, go to A. And they decided not to. So, what to do? That's the state of the game at the moment, unfortunately. So I'm going to give this Bromwell a, a bit of a smack. And as you can see there, I mean, the reload kills this thing. It, it's just too long. And when you're churning at 160, if you're lucky, and that really is if you're lucky. I mean, the, the best damage you'll get out of this is, well, 160, if you're lucky. And you've got a reload of what you've got then it, it, it makes the tank very, very tricky indeed. And, you, you know, you've got to be careful. Okay, I've got 200 iron down for there, because, mainly because I've just got the, the flashy thing that allows me to get a big shot. So I've already lost some hit points, and I've only taken one shot. Um, and I've dished out 700 damage, which is not too bad. And then I don't pen that BK there, I just track him. So now I've got no choice, I've got to pen him, and then I'm just going to ram him, because I'm not going to sit here waiting for him to reload, because he's going to wake me out. Um, so I lose less hit points by ramming him, but I still lose a load of hit points. Now I'm down to next to nothing. I've taken, what, one kill. I've dished out uh, just over 900 damage. I've capped a base, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking worse for wear, to be honest with you. Now I can see a T1 Heavy popping along there, so I'm not, I'm not even going to think about going down there. There's KV-2 down there as well, and I know there's also an SU. 85 I think or is it an SU 100 I can't remember. oh there it is the SU 85i is over there as well let's give him a smack 174 damage that's not a bad roll um, but I also know that the T1 Heavy and the KV2 are coming and I'm a one shot to absolutely everything so I give the SU another smack track him at the same time um, I was hoping the Wolverine would take him out but the Wolverine has now gone AFK so I need to smack him before he smacks me thankfully he misses and or he was aiming for the Bromwell, one of the two, and I get to smack him. Now, it's three against three, but it's not really, it's two against two, because the uh, the Wolverine is out. Oh, he kills him before I can get around there. The Wolverine is just out for the count. He's just completely AFK. So it's just two against one. Now, well, sorry, sorry, two against two. There is the KV-2, 
there's not much I can do here. I'm going to hit him and then he's going to smack me for oblivion. But I, I'd rather him kill me to allow the Bromwell to go around and then take him out. And we do win, and I get a first class 1,500. And, you know, it's it's not a bad tank in that respect. But it's a really tricky tank, and that's the thing about this tank. You know, it's incredibly difficult to play, especially for a tier 5. And, you know, with its lack of armor and its lack of penetration, and by the way, the gun, and don't forget it's a German gun, the gun is not that accurate. Now, I've got all the crew skills unlocked, and sometimes this gun just, that went under the scavenger. The, the other shot went way past the T-34, and I thought I was lined up. Now I'm gonna bounce, oh no I don't, I, I actually get the stuck. But I've lost half my hit points already, and they've only, te they've only put two shots into me. I'm going to try and get to T-34 again. Sorry, T-34. That's about. And, and this is the thing with this little Panzer four. Everything around it is just tougher. And there it goes again, flying past. The, the, you know, the ability to snapshot just isn't there. Um, and I'm now going to struggle, to be honest with you. You know, the Stug's not going to struggle to pen me, but I'm going to struggle to pen him. And this is the thing. And I can see over in the corner there's a DW2 and a Matilda. Two tanks I'm really going to struggle with. I'm going to see if I can get anything in the Panzer 4 or 5. I can. That's nice. Um, the Stug is still there. So we've got four tanks in front of me. We've only lost a tank. Um, and, but they've also lost a tank. Can I poke around? See, they've all dropped off the map. Despite the fact that I've got a very good view range and my commander is not dead. I am now a one-shot to most things on the battlefield, apart from the Matilda. The Matilda cannot one-shot me, but virtually everything else in front of me can. The Stug can, the Scavenger can, and the Type th and, and the Panzer 4 5 can. So, you know, I've got to be really careful here. And, and this is the thing with this tank, you know, you, you can't stick it. I mean, that should have hit the side, but it didn't. And I, I've done 600 damage, and I've only taken zero kills. And I've been on the front line, which is where I didn't want to be in this particular tank. And I'm hoping, well, it's two against four now. What are we going to do? So let's take out the Crusader, which we can. I mean, we can take out the Crusader. That's not too difficult. It's a tier four. Now can I get the Type 34? Hopefully I can. Yes, I can. So now it's two against two. And it's me... Uh, my teammate against the Matilda in a DW. And there's the Matilda, so I'm going to try and smoke one into the Matilda. Yeah, get a nice roll into him. But the Matilda takes out the Coventer. So it's now one, i.e. me, against two. And I've got two formidable tanks for this little thing. I've got the Matilda, which isn't going to hit me lot, but he's got trolley armor. And this thing hasn't got the best pen, to be fair. Well, it, it's got good pen, but it's not the best. Uh, bounce, and buddy high bounce him as well. Um, what about this time? Can I get anything into him? No, I'm not even going to try. He knocks 40 into me. I'm worried now about the DW. Let's take him out. Boom. It's now one on one, but I'm on 63 hit points. I mean, I'm a one shot. Uh, it's you know, it, simple as that. The, the, the wave, I, I cannot win this game. He's full health. I bounce him and I hit his lower plate. Smack on. And that, to be honest with you, pissed me off because that should have taken 170 out of him, at least. And it took zero. Um, and then I lose my ping here, by the way, which is why it looks like I just sit out in the open when I don't. Um, and then we die. What could I do? 1,560-odd damage, I think that was. Oh, 1,502. Another first class. Three kills. Not a bad game. Now, you may not agree with me. You may not think that this tank needs a buff. I truly, truly believe it needs a buff. It, it, it just is really not able to keep up with some of the other tanks in its tier. And it's a shame for the tank with the pedigree that it has. So please, Wargaming, for the love of God, buff this tank. Give it a fighting chance to do better on the battlefield. Give it, I don't know, a better gun. Increase its armor. I don't care what you do. Buff it slightly. Anyway, that's been the Panzer 4G. I've been Fujit. Um, by all means, comment and like and all that sort of stuff below. If you haven't yet, please press subscribe. It's a nice thing to do. Costs you nothing. If you've got any decent replays, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. Or join my Discord where you can upload them there. 
much easier. And until the next time, I will say the following. Stay safe out there, guys. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy. Wargaming! Buff this tank! <laughs>